Hi everyone, this is an example of a bicuspid valve that I caught on parasternal long axis view. So initially here on the parasternal long axis view, you can see that the LV function is great. However, there's a lot of thickening and calcification of the aortic valve. And I don't know, a great way to describe this to me was is that it just looks calcified and stubby. Um, and when it opens, it doesn't really open like the hand clapping motion of a uh, regular normal tricuspid valve um, it kind of looks like it's doming right doming here in systole let's take a look at the close-up of it right here doming opening but barely and um, it looks like there is some systolic doming um, and what's also interesting and helps with the diagnosis is that the aortic root is really big about 43 millimeters so and there is appears to be effacement of the sinotubular junction so the doming of the aortic valve large aortic root and effacement of the sinotubular junction makes you think that there's a bicuspid valve here it, it is on short axis view there's some turbulence here which tells you that there's fairly a, uh, a fair amount of aortic stenosis as well and here it is on short axis view without color it looks like the left and right cusps here are fused right and left cusp here are fused the velocities that we got tended to be around the mild to moderate range. AVA came out to be about 1.1 and the a mean gradient of about 16 with a peak velocity of about 260 to 270 centimeters per second, which is consistent with mild to moderate, which I believe I called mild aortic stenosis.